let's talk about Amber. I'm sure most people have, at the very least, heard of Amber in passing. It is this light orange, yellow, brown gemstone that is made from fossilized tree resin. Many types of trees produce resin or sap, and under specific conditions, with high heat and high pressure, it can become fossilized. Many times it can become fossilized with inclusions of other organic matter, such as insects or other plant matter, such as seen in the famous Jurassic Park, where they extract DNA from a mosquito found frozen in amber. The majority of amber's use is in jewelry or other decorative purposes, but has since ancient times been used as a healing method as well. But what's very interesting about amber is its electrostatic properties. When exposed to friction, so it being rubbed with a cloth or other material, it gets a very high negative charge. This produces a lot of static electricity, which can then be used to pick up small, lightweight things like chunks of paper here, or feathers, or dust, or other small particles. Amber is one of the very first ever examples of static electricity, with records of the electrostatic properties going all the way back to Pliny the Elder in ancient Greece and ancient Rome and Egypt and all of that. Ancient people were fascinated by the fact that amber could hold a charge and pick up other things, almost like a magnet when exposed to friction. In fact, the word amber in ancient Greek is electron, which is where we get the modern word electricity from. Amber really does have to be one of the coolest gemstones out there, from the fact that it's not even really a stone, it's fossilized plant resin, to the fact that it can produce electricity, and the fact that it can preserve ancient organisms.